In a lifetime, the human body experiences about 10,000 trillion cell divisions that account for development, growth, and cell renewal. And at every single round of these divisions, cells need to ensure that its genetic material, encoded in the DNA molecules, is properly segregated between the two daughter cells. So before cell division, the DNA inside the cells looks very much like these threads of wool. Uh, here shown only for three chromosomes, each color representing a different one. And as you can imagine, if one tries to segregate and separate such threads, it is nearly impossible to do so. So for cell division, chromosomes need to drastically change their structure and become this well-known X-shaped structures. So once chromosomes are compacted like this, uh, they are nicely individualized and well resolved, all the entanglements are gone, and cell division is now feasible within the cell space. Errors in this process lead to breaks in the DNA molecule with drastic consequences to the cell. So in addition to chromosome compaction, the molecular glue that holds the two DNA molecules is also absolutely essential for efficient cell division. Uh, it is by holding them together that the cell knows that this DNA molecule is genetically identical to this one and therefore needs to be pulled to opposite poles of the cell. When there are errors in this process and sister chromatid separation occurs prematurely, cells will basically segregate their chromosomes randomly and odds are that it will make errors in this process. So this kind of errors have been associated with different pathological conditions such as cancer, development disorders and infertility. In the chromosome dynamics lab, we use a multidisciplinary approach to study chromosome morphology at three different levels. First, we aim to understand how our mitotic chromosomes assemble at every single round of cell division, which still remains one of the biggest mysteries in cell biology. Secondly, we want to understand how does the morphology of chromosomes influence the dynamic aspects of the cell division process, uh, such as attachment to the spindle and chromosome movement. And lastly, we aim to identify how do errors in mitosis that arise from defects in chromosome structure affect tissue homeostasis and organism development using fruit flies as a model system.